Uh, of course, a lot of big salaries, a lot of big money that's been made in the game. I know this is a year that uh, the A's are trying to watch their budgets as the best as they can, and I think uh, that was a lot yeah, yeah, it's interesting. We, we keep hearing that, that Matt Holliday is only here for a year, and that, that may very well be the case. But we also heard initially that you know maybe he may only be here until the hitter race gets hot and they trade him, you know, later in the season. And uh, you know, we like the hope based on the full composition of the team that we have now, that they'd be good enough to compete, especially in the AL West, and, and maintain the roster throughout the season. Uh, uh, it will be interesting to see as the season goes along, attendance figures become far more important in a year like this with the economy being so tough. And how those uh, attendance figures and the income of the team affect what decisions are made in terms of trades and you know, what will come off later on in the season. So, uh, so yeah, there's a lot of things to look at now. So Is Stomper coming back? Just aside from that, just the fact that there is some support in terms of getting the cheer that is a good phase in my much more exciting baseball. Hopefully, getting back to some of that classic phase of baseball. I would really like to see some steely bases, some of that more yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I don't, I don't know how much you know how much speed they're going to have on the base, base pass, but it's important for fans to know that you know whatever we saw last year that disappointed us in terms of how the team just kind of dropped off from the All Star break forward, you know, uh, and, and didn't have hitting and didn't have that consistent threat. You know, at least this year you're going to see a different type of team. You know, you're going to see something different. You're going to see them, possibly a better team. So, so that part's that part's very exciting. You know, obviously there's some there's some questions with the pitches, you know. Right. Uh, and and those are the you know when last year there there weren't as many questions with the pitching this year there are. So but uh, but the veteran influence will be good for the A's and the and the AL West is winnable, you know, it is with the, the Angels obviously being the favorite, uh, and Seattle and um, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the fourth team already. And then the Rangers, yeah, the Rangers, you know, are, are also in a, in a growth, in a growth process. So there's a, there's room for the A's to fit in and compete. And, and I think as a fan, you've got to, you've got to be excited about that. It's kind of like the, the AL West. You've also got the, the football of Western Division out this way. The American League is interesting to see now a space for all of those teams that haven't been doing so well, now there's actually a possibility that they can be and get some space there. So that's great for the Oakland Athletics and great for the Giants as we had the Giants report earlier. Looking forward to all of the seasons starting with the bang. That is sportsradioservice.com. And we are at Tar Indian Cuisine Restaurant, 1133 Park Avenue. No, Pacific yeah. Avenue. Yes, yeah, Pacific Avenue. Avenue. Might as well be Park Avenue. But Pacific Avenue in Santa Cruz, the heart of Santa Cruz. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Ralph Bora, our illustrious announcer. And uh, <coughs> we'll have a drop off on Sitar, Sitar, and our lovely hostess here. My name's Heather. Hi, Heather. And more comments about the wonderful food and the location. The location is 1133 Pacific Avenue, downtown Santa Cruz. California. Uh, oh, California. Thank you. Our phone number is 831-427-3000. And the dining is excellent. Thank you. And you have specialties here. We do. We have an all-you-can-eat vegetarian buffet, $6.95. Very tasty, very tasty. Um, we have chicken tikka masala and tandoori chicken that you can add to the buffet. And your dessert? Our dessert, uh, we have kheer, which is a delicious rice pudding, and we also have gulab jamun, which is like um, deep fried milk balls. They're like little donuts, very good. And those colorful drinks? Colorful drinks, uh, the mango lassi. It's oh, like a yogurt is, mango milky drink. That is excellent. Very popular. I had two of those glasses when I had to stop. <laughs> very filling. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And a toast to Sitar. 
Sitar. Sitar. Sitar. That's right.